No, man. Hi guys, well, I had thought about doing this as a, a live stream, but uh, I think uh, with it being midweek, people are busy, so I thought I'll, I'll do the video instead. So basically it's lunchtime for me in uh, the village. Uh, if you don't know me by now, my name is Simon, I've been living in the Vietnam village now for over two years. We came here about December 2019, just before the pandemic hit the country and the world. and set it all up in turmoil so uh, we it was the timing was right but uh, I've been here for two years now and I've um, been enjoying the Vietnamese local food and stuff like that uh, weddings and all sorts but today I'm gonna have some uh, lunch Nat my wife has just prepared me a uh, beef soup beef noodle soup so I thought I'd show you it take the plate off to keep it keep it warm because it does take me ages to get set up all the, the things now so if I just angle it down now to show you what kind of a meal this is. This is uh, beef noodles with the tomatoes and uh, it's actually soaked all the, the water up because it's been that long. There's more, usually more juice than this, but uh, the spring onions and uh, some herbs in there as well. So it's a, it's a nice tasty meal. Good beef as well, really soft. But um, what I normally do is I put some uh, some chili, some homemade chilies. Now Nat made this for my birthday, uh, for Christmas, sorry. <laughs> so you see inside there, it's a uh, lovely, lovely chili. So I just basically stick a load in there like that. It's uh, nearly gone, so I'm gonna have to get some more made. It shows you how long, I, how much I eat because that's uh, that's just from Christmas Day. So it's uh, <laughs> it's well liked by me. Nat doesn't eat it, but uh, she said next time I've got to do it myself. <laughs> so uh, let's taste the broth. It's it's not like a, a soup that's been made that's been marinating uh, like boiling over for hours or anything, but it's still pretty tasty. Mouthfuls of uh, spring onion, but I'll. Uh, I'll point you to the, the actual dish. It's more enjoyable to look at than me. And the, the noodles have actually put, actually, you know, this has been made about 20 minutes while I've been messing about with the camera. So it's not looking exactly how it should. The noodles are all broken up. But uh, you can get a little bit more of an angle. So you can see. So this is just a sort of short video. Well, actually, I'm premiering this uh, for you so that you can see the type of lunch. And I've also got a dessert treat. So do do stay tuned to the end of the video because I'll show you this uh, this treat as well. So there's also have a little bit of a chat, see what's going on in the in the world of Vietnam. A few little things about visas and things like that, so while I'm eating, I'll we'll talk about a few things. Now, let's start off with vaccines. Now, um, me and my wife have had uh, two jabs already. We got them in uh, one in November, one did, two days before Christmas Day, so that was quite good. Um, they're now saying it's three months between getting the second shot and the booster so we'll probably get that around my birthday in March um, the um, the local feeling around here is it's pretty relaxed I mean it's it's the wedding season so I, <laughs> I was there yesterday I've got invited it was two days ago the woman came around at, at night and she said oh tomorrow party and I, I'm sure that's what she said but I wasn't sure I asked Nat to make sure and rightly enough, she said party tomorrow. So yesterday I went round, it's just a few doors down. There's a guy there who actually works and lives in uh, Tokyo. Oh, oh yeah, please. <laughs> I noticed it had dried up because I've been sitting so long. So now has given me some more stock. Thank you. <laughs> um, so the guy actually uh, lives and works in Tokyo. 
so he's doing very well for himself. He's uh, he's back home now and he's getting married. Now he was at the wedding a couple of days, a few days ago. Very nice guy. Um, they invited me to the party yesterday. So yesterday was like a, an initial party with uh, uh, friends and family, and I was lucky enough to get invited. But man, were they persuasive with the bloody rice wine? Bloody hell. It's like he just can't say no. It's literally, I would have had to have stood up and walked off to not have to drink the bloody rice wine. But I knew it was only one party. So I had a few rice wine, but I said, look, just beer for me. But even then, it was still a struggle to get away from them. It felt like they were offended or something, you know, some of the local guys. I think I got my own, I think I offended him um, with his age, because a lot of guys here look look older. <laughs> I thought it was the same age as me, but it was actually 44. Um, he was, uh, yeah, seven years younger than me, well, just about seven years younger than me. I'm 51 this year. So he got upset twice. But yeah, so that that wedding was a sort of a pre-party. Lots of nice food, some uh, boiled chicken that was actually nice, quite tasty, succulent. And they had some uh, some some shrimp that actually were better than the the other wedding the other day. Um, but also other things as well. It was nice food, some uh, soy, which is uh, sticky rice. And um, that was that was a good laugh. So their party is now, I think, Friday, Saturday. But also my cousin, if you didn't see my video the other day on the bike, uh, Nat's cousin, which is on her mother's side, lives out a few kilometers away near Namding. It was his wedding. Oh, sorry, his daughter's wedding. Um, but that's on Saturday and Sunday, so it's kind of overlapping. It was going to be both the same as this one, but it's changed a little bit. So Nat and her sister Nun are going to go to that wedding, Saturday, uh, Friday afternoon, Saturday morning. Um, I think I'm going uh, Friday morning, Saturday afternoon or something uh, for the other wedding. So we've got somebody to look after Leah and Will. Um, so uh, it's, it's definitely wedding season. I mean, there was one last week, one last month, and there's one, there's two this weekend, so it's, you know, coming thick and fast. It's so good. You know, add that little bit of uh, chilli as well, it's, it's it's really nice. I don't know if you can see that, but uh, it's um, it's something that does uh, quite often, actually. She, she, makes a, she makes a soup. And actually, I think the the tomatoes she's put in are probably from her garden because she found she got two two red tomatoes grown so she brought them in so i think that's what they are spring onions are hers tomatoes are hers um yeah so it's fresh fresh lunch so yeah the the weekend ahead is um weddings <laughs> i might do a little bit of filming maybe a bit of the food I won't do the whole wedding again. That's uh, that's quite a, a long job. I might do like a shortened version, so you get to see another version of a, of a wedding. Uh, so yeah, the the, the 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 sort of feeling around the village is it doesn't feel like we've got COVID around here. It's, it's quite relaxed. Everyone's vaccinated. Um, there's no lockdowns or social distancing. It's it's um, you still wear masks. Like when I pick up my Will, my son, I have to wear masks, and he wears masks at, at school unless he's eating. And um, it tends to be quite normal life at the moment. Whereas um, I've got friends in Australia. It's really kicking off, isn't it? And uh, also the UK with uh, Boris Johnson having Mardi Gras parties or whatever while everyone's in lockdown. Everyone's very happy about that. Um, 
So, but a lot of people are saying this Omicron is, is kind of the, the end of the pandemic and into the endemic. Uh, what do you think? It's kind of, uh, ho I'm hoping that is the case. But um, with the way Vietnam have been treating all this over the last two years, just locking it up, and the only, people are saying Vietnam's open. It's not open. It's not open for the people who want to come and visit and tour and have a holiday. It's not open for those people. It is open for uh, people who are married to Vietnamese or um, who've got a business or investing investing on in something or whatever. But it's not really open, so... Ah, just to take a break from the... Uh, Nat brought out the uh, the carrots. <laughs> so they're, they're not getting the length. <laughs> They've got uh, quite stubby, but you can see this one, it's got like uh, multiple, multiple uh, pieces of carrot there. And this'll, this'll, this'll make a good, a good meal in a roast dinner or something, you know, or in a, in a, a rib soup. She does a pork ribs, potato, carrot, and. Uh, sometimes pumpkin or tur turnip soup so this will go down a treat with that so they, it's they're not very long <laughs> but the the actual this was the smallest part there were bigger pits and the, the bigger bits of uh, the root like this were smaller carrots so it looks like the smaller part of this brings up the the bigger carrots so that's our that's our carrot stash at the moment so we're getting fresh carrots and we've got potatoes that are growing in the back as well so I'll um I'll take you around there after I've had my lunch and show you what's what the late the latest is with that video with the, the garden but uh, all these all these noodles are broken up so it's taken ages that's so good I've run out of beef, I think. A little bit left. So, so yeah. Oh, for those of you who haven't seen it, that's my new, my new uh, pith helmet, which was bought for me by uh, very kindly by my brother-in-law, the one who works as security in Hanoi. And it's, it's, a, it's you know, it's a let it go. It's a solid one, absolutely solid. You can tell the quality. I think this was about uh, probably about three hundred and fifty thousand. What's that about? Uh, that's just over ten pound, isn't it? Really? So they're about eleven, twelve pound. I think to get one of these, I could send one. I can, I can buy one of these for you and send them out if you wanted one. I know David, you you said your mother was probably not too happy about those, but she was a northerner, so they should be all right, right? So, uh, okay. The soup is lovely, and they tend to just eat the noodles, and that's it, you know. And for me, a soup is the whole thing. See, the West, they eat their soup, you know, they drink it. But the the Asian lot, Vietnamese, Chinese, it's just the noodles. Maybe some of the vegetables, but excuse the uh, slavering and noise. There is a Korean girl who sits there and slurps all the food and gets gets millions of views. And you think bloody hell? Why? Who the hell wants to watch somebody eat? But they do. I don't understand it. So. I'm getting to the end of all the noodles and I think to cut the video down I'll finish that there and we shall have now this isn't uh, typical of the period of time that we we eat this but Nat goes to a little town the first town before Nam Ding and it's basically um, where she gets some uh, milk or 
nappies or milk for the baby or whatever. You know, I mean, we get milk from the from Nam Ding for because it's the proper stuff, but she gets all sorts of other stuff there. And uh, but today she found a shop that actually does uh, moon cake. Unbelievable. So she showed me that and I was getting really excited because I do love my moon cake. And it's 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 usually around the moon festival time, which is about September time. So she's found a place that that does it yearly, uh, year round. So I thought I'd dig in and show you what that's all about. The label stuck to the bottom. So the one I prefer is the uh, the top cam, which is a mix. It's a it's a really really tasty uh, cake, and let's point you down to it so you can see it. So I'll cut this into a small piece here. Now this is only 20,000, so I'm not thinking it won't be <laughs> tasting that good. But, so that's the uh, the insides of uh, Tap Cam. There was all sorts of good stuff in there. I'm not going to be able to tell you exactly what it all is, because I wasn't that prepared. I just wanted to eat it in front of you and make you jealous, basically. <laughs> so uh, let's have a look at this um, normally I drink this with a cup of tea but I'm not going to bother getting a cup of tea I've just got some water well this let's let's try it out 20,000 normally there'll be about 50 or 60,000 some might be 40 so actually mmm those crunchy bits in here, it's like, um, like, like crunchy bits of sugar. <laughs> I'm not sure exactly what they are, but it's so, so good. Oh, man, I'll tell you what, if you're around, if you're in Vietnam, let's say you can get to Vietnam in 2022. I don't, I don't know whether you can, excuse me, but um, if you're around September time, do get a moon cake and look for the tap cam basically that's the mix and it's oh it's, it's so good mm, yeah i mean <laughs> i'm sorry joanne but bang chung you can you can keep that i'll eat this all year round bang chung never disgusting I may live in Vietnam, but I don't have to like everything in Vietnam. But this, oh, so good. Got a bit of water. It's all the crunchy bits inside that makes it even better. It's my bar 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 glass. Anyone would think I'm an alcoholic? <laughs> Now, I think um deserves a slither, just a slither more. I don't want to eat it all, but I certainly don't want to finish on that one piece. So, just a slither. So this is um, Tap Cam Mooncake. That's my lunch. I don't normally have a dessert <laughs> for lunch. Um, just today, I thought it might be a special occasion. Nat's made a soup. She's brought this for me. Let's have a go. Nice. Okay, guys. If you want to see more times when I'm eating lunch or breakfast, even. Or even a dinner. Do subscribe, click the bell, and you'll be notified of new videos coming up soon. So please do help the channel, Vietnam Village Life. Let's get above a thousand subscribers for Tet Holiday, which is round the corner. I'll be doing loads of videos about Tet. Come quite orchard, buying a plum, a peri, a, a P 
peach blossom tree and all the food and drinks and everything that goes on with the decorations all the decorations are up in the village i'll do a walk through with that as well show you the lanterns during the day and at night beautiful catch you later guys cheers